What's up guys, Viper FPV here, and today we have a brand new product from ReadyMade RC. It's the Strix Binary F10 Flight Controller. Um, this is actually made by Helio, and it's not an F10 flight controller. It's actually an F3 and an F7 processor. Um, the F3 is using the IMUF software from Helio RC, and then it has the F7 to pretty much do all the rest of the work on whatever code you're running, beta flight, butter flight, or even race flight. You can do that now with Pegasus. Um, so I'm going to do a little overview, kind of show you what the all the pins are, all the pads, and um, show you what it comes with. Pretty much all it does come with is just some gummies to soft mount the flight controller. Um, this does accept up to 6S voltage, so you can go ahead and put this on a 6S racing quad, which I plan on doing. I believe I'm going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Bolivian or I'm going to do a um, Source 2 frame yet, but still up in the air. But uh, let's see here. So starting off here on the um, pads, we got our signal pads right here on the top. So if you want to use individual ESCs with a PDB, you can do that if you want. Um, and then the ground pad is on the back side of this little tab here. Um, then we go ahead and we have our boot pin right there. And then we have a header right here for 4 one ESC. And it has all your motors right here. It also does have VBAT receive for a receive four pin which is for ESC telemetry and also for um, anything else you might want to put on that pin for instance and then we have ground and then all the motors like I said um, on this big pad right here we have um, 5 volt plus and then we have our ground big ground pad there so you can put a couple things there if you want extra accessories if you want um, then we have a 3.3 volt pin right here a uh, pad so you can use this with spectrum and then moving on top of the top right here, we have our um, TX1, RX1, then we have TX2, RX2. We have a 5 volt out, which is regulated, a TX3, RX3, and then we also have TX5 and RX5. So I think this uh, flight controller has five UARTs that you can go ahead and use, which is really great. Um, then we also we have over here, we have um, our buzzer plus and minus. We have LED pads, a ground pad, a 5 volt pad. Um, and then it looks like an LED signal pad and then a current sensor pad over here. And then we have our USB right there. Moving on to the top, we have our, um, looks like a ground pad, a camera, uh, looks like camera power, which is, looks like it's saying it's battery voltage. So it's a VCC camera power battery voltage. And then we have our video in, our camera control, uh, which is great, has camera control. And then we also have VTX video out. And then we have a smart audio pad and then we have a TX5 pad, which you can use for smart audio on like a Unify or maybe a Mach 3 VTX. You want to use the uh, Tramp protocol. Um, then we have uh, receive and ground, and then we have 5 volt S bus and S port. Um, really great thing about this, since it is using an F7 flight controller, is you know on FrySky you have to use an uninverted or inverted inverter on your receiver. This actually does not matter what receiver or what UART you use for your receiver. You can pretty much put on any one. So that's what a great advantage of an F7 flight controller is. Um, the F4s pl were plagued with that problem having to put an inverter on one of the UARTs so you can use that um, ESPOS pad. But on this one, besides having you know no inverter, or doesn't matter what pin you use for the inverter, uh, it is an F7, so it is kind of like future-proofing your quad, probably for maybe a year or so. I mean, we're not really sure where beta flight and all that is going to go in the next year or so. I mean, it could use a lot more processing power, or the F4s can still be pretty uh, solid. We don't know, but it is use an F7 flight controller, and it does use the F3 Crow processor. Um, if you want to know more about how to set this type of flight controller up. I actually did a whole bunch of um, videos on the Helio Spring, which also will apply to this flight controller as well. Um, so I, if, I'll leave those down in the link as well, uh, down in the comment section of this video. And you can go ahead and uh, give yourself a little guide and show you guys how to hook this thing up. It's pretty much the same thing as a Helio Spring. Only thing is really the difference on this thing is it has an F7 flight controller. And then it and then I think that's really the main difference um, between this and then a Helio Spring Flight Controller. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you thought this video was useful for you guys, um, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in another video. I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.